everybody, it's Connie with Simply Simple Stamping.com. Thank you for joining me for a flashcard 2.0. Guys, it's all about bright and cheery today. I loved how this came out. Really love those bright colors. And I had a lot of that Cucumber Crush cardstock that was just getting really antsy to be used up before it went away forever. This is a super easy flashcard. Let's go ahead and get started creating. Let's go ahead and talk about the cardstock you need to create today's flashcard 2.0. Guys, I'm going to be using Melon Mambo cardstock as my card base, and that is cut eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter inches, so that means it's going to fit into a medium sized envelope. My flashcard pieces today are in Cucumber Crush and Whisper White. My Cucumber Crush is a flashcard 2.0 that is cut two and an eighth by five and a half inches, and my uh, layering piece in Whisper White. This is cut two inches by five and three eighths inch. I have two different stamp sets I'm going to be using today. The main one is the Flower Shop stamp set. Guys, this has been a favorite of mine for a long time. We're actually going to be using the matching punch with that one. And then also I'm going to be using All Things Thanks. I love this big thanks for everything, a great sentiment. Any sentiment's gonna work, but this one just happened to be a favorite. Well, let's go ahead and start. We're gonna do some heat embossing today. And uh, I'm just gonna take my embossing buddy and rub it all over my cardstock here. This is going to keep any um, embossing powder from sticking where I don't want it. I'm going to bring in a Versamark ink pad, and then let me go ahead and bring in my Thanks for Everything stamp. I'm just gonna ink that up on the Versamark, and we're gonna stamp this up here in the upper left-hand corner. And this is going to leave almost a sticky behind. I'm now going to come in with some Whisper White embossing powder. I'm just going to sprinkle that right there onto my stamped image. Now before I heat emboss it, I do want to make sure if there are any stray little embossing boogers that get on there, we want to make sure those go away. We just don't want any of those to show up. So just a little paintbrush. This is one from our paper pumpkin kit um, last April. And so I am now going to come in with my heat tool. We're going to heat set this. I just love the look of heat embossing. It's so nice to have that nice shine um, and just to be able to get that big burst of white coming off that Melon Mambo card. Okay, let's set this off to the side. Now we're going to do our stamping. I'm going to be using three different ink pads. I got Tempting Turquoise, Daffodil Delight, and Melon Mambo. Let's go ahead and start with the lightest one. Now I chose the solid flower for my card here, but I thought for my video, why not shake it up? Let's do a different one. So I'm going to stamp in Daffodil Delight here all the way over uh, to the left on my cardstock. I cleaned my stamp. Now I'm going to come in the Tempting Turquoise. We're going to go all the way to the right side of our cardstock. And last, I can come in with the Melon Mambo and stamp that as well. I'm going to come in with that matching punch. We can now punch out uh, all three of our flowers. There we go. Now we're going to do a quick cut here on our Cucumber Crush cardstock. Very simple to do. We are just going to cut off three quarters of an inch of our cardstock, and then we are going to place both those pieces in the petal burst embossing folder. Now, I got to tell you what I love about this embossing folder is it's so random. Doesn't matter if I get it in there straight. So let's go run that through the big shot. I am now going to adhere the larger of the two pieces right here all the way at the bottom of my card base. I'm now going to add some snail adhesive to my last piece. In this one, we're going to leave ourselves a little bit of space in between. Of course, we don't want to hit that uh, sentiment there. So I'm going to go, I bet I have about a quarter of an inch there. Make sure that's good when you press and then we can press it down. Awesome. Now let's add our flowers. I wanted to keep my Melon Mambo one off the uh, Melon Mambo cardstock there. So I've got just snail adhesive on the back of these. Let's add a stamp and dimensional to the back of our Melon Mambo. What's not to love about having that little pop on our card. Guys, that is a card that is so made in a flash. I love just the difference those two flowers make. And of course, you can also mix and match. I mean, there's six flowers in this stamp set, so have some fun with it. There you have it. It really is a fun and fast card. I love the burst of colors on this. Such a bright and cheery card. And it's kind of dreary here today, so it was kind of nice to be able to create something um, bold and bright and beautiful <laughs> to bright 
brighten up my gray skies. Anyway, listen, if you want to see more information on today's card, not a problem. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com and look for the April 28th 2017 blog post. I'm going to have pictures there. I'll have a list of all the supplies, the measurements in case you didn't catch them. And uh, also, if you need any of the supplies, maybe that flower shop stamp set and that punch, not a problem. You can just click a pick. It's going to take you right to my online store and you'll be able to order what you need. So we love to make it easy for you. Speaking of easy, if you like the idea of the stamping and you like the idea of flashcards, but you're really not into cutting, I've got you covered there too. How about flashcards to go? This is where I have all the cards stock cut, scored, your flashcard and your flashcard 2.0 pieces, envelopes, everything that you need so you can just do the fun part. You just get a stamp. You just get to create and be awesome. So if you'd like to find out more information on flashcards to go, head over to simplysimplestamping.com and it's right there in the pink menu bar at the top. All right, well, that is it for me today. I am going to go create some more bright and colorful cards to brighten up my dreary day. I hope this one brightened up your day. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>